Hello, what's up, everybody? Mzima's right here on the Zimax Media, and welcome back to the Flat Info. If you are new to this channel or haven't subscribed, please, you can consider smashing that red button and clicking that bell icon for updates and notifications. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome so much to another edition of the Flight Info. And today, I'll be speaking about number of things Oman Air, Saudi Arabia, Ugandan Airlines, Kenya Airways, and Jumbo Jet. So let's begin with Saudi Arabia. Hello bro. Can you hear me? Can you? Come on, I can see you. What do you mean hear you? It is a Zoom call now. I can I can see you. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I, I, I can see you too. So I'll be coming home in the next uh, three days. Uh, uh, do you remember coming home? What do you mean, coming home? Yes, yes, yes. Saudi Arabia has opened the flights and uh, they have resumed flights, so I'll be coming home. Since when did they open flights? Since when did they open flights? Saudi Arabia? Uh, what do you mean? Saudi Arabia suspended their flights, international flights, on March 15th, but they resumed uh, their domestic flights on May 31st. Now, there have been rumors, yes, rumors that they have resumed flights in that country, Saudi Arabia. But now, on Wednesday, two days ago, 2nd of September, now they came forward and said, we have not resumed any flights. Please, those are only rumors. Well, rumors again. I thought they did. So when are they resuming the flights? So in that official announcement, they say these flights have been suspended till further notice. Further notice. Father notice again. Father notice. Father notice. Yeah, yeah. Till further notice. But now you see, as the Zimax Media Flight Info will be right here to inform you just in case they resume the flights. So let's move forward to another airline, Oman Air. Yeah, yeah, good stuff here. Oman Air has announced their readiness to deal with the resumption of flights. These people are ready, man, to open the flights. Yeah. Oh, come on. What do you mean, readiness? Just tell me when are they opening. Give me the dates, man. <coughs> now, this is what they mean by readiness. Uh, planes, people, and Oman airports are ready for restarting of flight services. Is that okay? Is it? Okay. I don't want this readiness. I'm tired of this readiness narrative. Just tell me the dates. When are they resuming the flights? Okay, yes, people. So there's been this question from guys all over asking about Oman flights, Oman to Kenya, Oman to South Africa, Oman to just wherever. So the official statement here we have is that uh, Oman Air gave an announcement, and this is what they said Our planes and people are ready, and Oman's airports are ready too. When we can fly, we will provide safe, careful service to our guests, along with all travel related info and requirements. So there is no specific date for the resumption of flights from Oman. Uh, so that's what you have for now. In case of any any specific dates, we are always here and we got you covered. And now let us cross borders to Uganda. Yeah, my good people from Uganda, I just send my greetings to you. Uh, Irene, Frida and the others. Um, sorry, I forgot your names, but Please receive my greetings. Let's go to Uganda. What do we have for Uganda? There's something good for Uganda. Come on, bro. Don't tell us about something good from Uganda. We just want to know when are the flights opening. I'm here in Saudi Arabia. I'm here in Qatar. I'm here in, here in Oman. Just tell me when are the flights opening. Or something good. Okay. I'm sorry, my beautiful people from Uganda. So let me give you what uh, we have right now concerning Uganda flights. Banange. Okay, now the info we have for Uganda is that uh, the COVID-19 task force is preparing itself to reopen borders, airports, is it airport or airports? Okay, how many airports do you have in Uganda? I don't know. Airport and churches. They are studying the possibility of reopening. Well, Mzima. Mzima. How many times did I call you? You know, I respect you, but will you please stop it around the bush and just tell us when is Uganda reopening the dates? Give us the date of reopening of Uganda airport, please. Ah, okay, okay, it's okay, it's fine. Uh, so Uganda will be opening the Entebbe Airport and the borders, Maritime Port of Entry on 
1st of October. That's the day that has been set for the reopening of Uganda airport. And before I forget, uh, foreigners on tourist visa will have to possess a COVID-19 free certificate valid for 72 hours. So that's all we have for Uganda. Let's hope Mr. Museveni does this, though October seems far, but let's just keep on waiting and uh, we hope it's going to open on the October 1st. Yeah, that's all about Uganda. Now, somebody said East and West home is best. Now we've talked about Saudi Arabia, Oman, and Uganda. Now I'm back to Kenya. There's something about Kenya Airways that I need you to know right now. Yeah, there is a special offer by the Kenya Airways for health workers. Yes, if you're a health worker, you'll be required to pay half price when traveling by Kenya Airways or on Kenya Airways. Kenya Airways says this move is to celebrate medical heroes who have been on the front line in fighting the COVID-19 pandemic. And so as a medical worker when booking a flight or traveling on Kenya Airways, you only pay half the price. For example, Mombasa to Nairobi, Nairobi to Kisumu, you only pay the half price. Hello, is this Kenya Airways? Yeah, my name is Dr. Sharif from Mombasa, Kisauni. Hello, Dr. Sharif. This is Mzima from Kenya Airways. How may I help you? Ana pigasimu kulizia ile offer ya Kenya Airways health workers to alipa half price. Yeah, mean daktari mimi, mganga na tumimi tishamba kutibu watu. Naam. Oh, English, okay. I'm a medicine man. I use a herbal medicine to treat people. And there's an offer there. Paying half price. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a health worker. I'm a medicine man. Mganga mimi na tumimi. Yes? As I said, I'm sorry. Okay, this offer is not for wagangas, it's only for certified health workers. What do you mean? I'm a health worker. I'm a health worker. It's not for medicine men. It's only for certified health workers who are fighting COVID-19. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, have a good day, doctor. Okay, thanks for calling. Oh my goodness. Personally, I'm so sorry for what happened to me. Dr. Sharif. He's a health worker, medicine man, Ganga. So he also wants uh, the half price by the Kenya Airways. So what are the requirements for uh, this half price on the Kenya Airways as, as a health worker? There's only one requirement. You must be a frontline health worker with a health work ID, which must be shown at the time of purchase and a check-in. And it's for both business and economy class. And these tickets, you can book them by september 30th uh, for over 20 destinations on the kenya airways for example jkia to mombasa international airport that's nairobi to mombasa normally it costs it costs 96 uh, 70 shillings but by half price you will have 48 35 shillings yeah so if you have a brother or a sister or yourself are a health worker with a certified id you can book these flights from mombasa to kenya Mom oh. Okay, well, what am I saying? From Mombasa to Nairobi, Nairobi to Kisumu, half price, man. And I think this thing comes after the COVID-19 uh, has hit Kenya Airways. And uh, the end of June, from January to this year, they made a loss of 14.33 billion Kenya shillings on account of the COVID-19 disruption. So maybe they're just trying to, to come afloat. Yeah, coming afloat because of these, the losses um, they're making. That's what we have for the Kenya Airways, half price. And just before we wrap it all up, one more thing for Kenyans here uh, on the Jumbo Jet. Jumbo Jet are offering direct flights right now from Mombasa to, to Kisumu, from Kisumu to Eldoret without stopping at the hub in Nairobi. This move is so good because it's cutting on the cost. For example, initially from Mombasa to, to Eldoret, you are supposed to pay 11,800 shillings, but right now, the, with the direct flight, you just pay uh, 8,900 shillings. Same to Mombasa to Kisumu, same, same price. So that's all you have for Jumbo Jet there. So you can consider booking them. Low budget, yeah, Jumbo Jet. Okay, good people. So I believe that's all we had for today. That's my belief. In case of anything, just let me know and I will be here. We will be here as a Zimax Media, the flight info to respond to your questions and everything else. So for now, I think let me wrap up. I'll be back with more news. I'll be back with more info on Emirates, Rwanda Air, 
uh, and also the yeah, Ethiopian Airlines. Yeah, I'll be back with more news. So just stay tuned. I'm your guy, Zima Wells.